Best Look at Justice League Movie Villain, Armored Steppenwolf Revealed DC fans were expecting the Justice League movie to take the spotlight at SDCC, but it's the villain Steppenwolf who's taking the spotlight so far. We've gotten our first look at the Apocalyption Mother boxes from the movie that the villain will be hunting down, and the final Justice League hero costumes they'll use to do it. Thanks to toys located on the show floor, we have the best look yet at the final, sculpted, painted design of Steppenwolf in his full battle armor, massive war axe in hand. Fans have previously tracked down the first glimpses of the UN-helmeted Steppenwolf in toy form, and a marketing photograph of a more detailed look at Steppenwolf in his armor. The new image seems to be that second figure in the flesh, although it's unclear just who has manufactured it. The good news is that it gives our clearest look at the villain's armor, his connections to the other apocalyption architecture we think the trailers have featured and what may be the first glimpse of the Dso's boom tubes. The image surfaced on Reddit claiming to be from somewhere on the Comic Con floor, so fans can take a look for themselves at the first big bad the Dso Justice League will face. The skeletal remains of Steppenwolf's victims set the mood nicely, while this 3D look at the figure shows the silvery black alien lines and designs seen in what we assume are Apocalypse Towers in the Justice League trailers. The design raises a number of questions, including the original owner of the skull used for Steppenwolf's felt buckle, but the flying soldiers behind him will be just as exciting for fans. It's hard to know if these black portals expelling the Predmans are what we can expect from the boom tubes of the Dso or an artistic placeholder, but this image does suggest the nature of the portals will remain intact. The second photo gives a clearer view of the red accents on Steppenwolf's horns and cuffs. It's unclear if that's a paint job or meant to stand in for a glowing effect, but either ways, comparisons between the villain of Justice League and Wonder Woman are going to be unavoidable. Not that the League will care, since the height difference shows the Apocalypse will tower over his earthly rivals. What do you think of the design? Does he meet your expectations for the Justice League villain, or were you hoping for something more jaw-dropping? It's likely the version in the final film will boast some new effects, so let us know your hopes, or concerns, in the comments. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you